Hello there and welcome to ZDO's reviews. You should know that already, but uh, this is a mechanical gaming keyboard by uh, Rita or uh, Ray Dia or however you call it, or just call it DEA -E if you want. Uh, but let's check it out. Box is a little bit smushed, typical to Amazon delivery guys. Uh, yes, I do blame them. They are terrible. But uh, let's open this thing up. I don't know what that is. Ooh, that's that's nice. Look at that. That's textured paper. I'm not sure if you can see it, but that's like textured. That's that's. <laughs> I don't know. It caught my eye. Uh, so the keeper. Oh, come on, guys. Don't don't put the wires like behind. See. I need to get it out like this. See, see, that's that's the problem. The wire is behind the box. <clears throat> There's something in here. So just at least this this one has a cap in there so that's that's all there is now the keyboard is upside down there is a cd this one is supposed to be fully programmable i don't know they say it, said that right Ritia. 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 i don't know <laughs> that's metal by the way yep that's metal uh, this looks awfully like uh, the one I have, not awfully, but uh, it looks it looks a lot like mine. Oh, the keys are really nice. I like the red keys, yep. Red keys are really good. It doesn't click. That's that's exactly what I've uh, been looking for. But it's a very basic keyboard. As you can see, there are no uh, additional keys, nothing. It's also, like I explained in one of the other videos, that uh, it doesn't have those colors around, you know, um, keys so if you spill something on the keyboard it goes straight into the circuit board and there we have the red keys but it looks like it has some um, these switches are a little bit better see it has like two sides in here not just a cross thing like normally so if you put the key on that it doesn't like spin and move really some of the other keyboards they like the keys are a little bit moving around but um, so, uh, the keys are a little bit harder to press than mine, actually. I don't know. But, they... I don't know, it doesn't really feel like mechanical, to be honest. But that's, a, that's supposed to be a gaming keyboard. Well, they are obviously mechanical, but I'm just saying they don't feel like it. I think I'll be using this one, actually, over the current one I'm using. But, we'll see. Very basic metal look. We have, um these kind of things in here, the flap things, they're kind of fragile and like, not like, you know, they don't give much lift, but, uh, so yeah, if you put it like this, um, I don't know, it's quite, uh, quite, quite easy to type, actually, by the way, I type my name, that's, that's how fast I type my name, <laughs> see, <laughs> right, so, um, I want to plug this in and see how it works. This this is the CD which I'm not going to be using because I don't have a CD drive. That's what I keep saying, people. Please stop using CDs. I mean, CD time is over. I mean, CDs are loud, they are slow, they are sluggish, they are just usable once. Why not just give a small USB stick and get it over with? USB sticks are like so cheap nowadays if you have a product like this why not just include it in a USB stick? Whoa! It looks like you can pull these mechanical switches out, as you can see. It comes with replacements. Yeah, it doesn't click at all. It's like a little bit bouncy, I don't know. So you have uh, four replacement switches. I didn't actually know you can just pull them out of the board like this, but <laughs> obviously you can, see? And it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't absolutely click unclickable you can't hear it at all and this thing oh yes that's that's good the other keeper I had this had some plastic piece of nut back that didn't work at all <laughs> so if you um want the key out like this I don't even know if it fits in there see it uh yeah it doesn't really fit in there see that's that's the problem I don't even know why they have this I'm gonna try now no no that doesn't work it's supposed to be like um take the keys out but uh, guys, ha have you tried this? Like, seriously? Have you tried this? How how are you taking the key out? See, it doesn't fit in there. It doesn't go between two of the keys because this is too freaking wide. It doesn't go the other way either, see? 
yeah, it goes in here. You can pull the key out like that. But <laughs> it doesn't fit in there. So I, I don't understand this. Wait, what the heck was that? What did I pull out now? Um, it was supposed to be the key in here. But, but yeah, well, I don't know. I need to connect this up and see how it looks like first. Well, I gave you a quick uh, look on the keys. Uh, the light effects are really awesome, but I think I need to show them in the dark, really. So um, I'm going to try the driver. It's, it's, yeah, you can program the keys, but um, personally, I don't understand why would you want to program these kind of keys to macros and stuff, but it can do it. It needs extra keys. It needs to be just a little bit longer, and this entire line should be extra keys. That's that's what I would prefer as a gaming keyboard. Or actually on the sides it's better, like my cyborg keyboard. Like six buttons on the side, six buttons on the side, and have entire line, a row of keys up there. So why not do it like this? You could have like 15 to like 20 keys on top here, six on the side, six on the side, boom, mega gaming keyboard. Why not? Just do it, guys. It's going to be epic. But, well, I'm going to give this thing a go and show you how the light effects look like in the dark. Well, here you have the keyboard connected, and I think I'm going to use this for a while, but it looks it looks really cool. It feels really cool. And I tried some of the effects and stuff. Um, for example, the I'm going to go through all the light effects because I think that's just cool to play around with them. Uh, just like uh, the usual good keyboards, you can uh, change them without any driver. For example, faster. See? Really fast. And also notice these lights. I have my sticker on. I'll take them off. So, Well, not sticker, but whatever. So, um, see it blinks. The blinking means it's a maximum. See, it doesn't do it if you go down. And it blinks again, which means it's a minimum. See? So it's really good to uh, have some kind of indication of that. That's the brightness. See, I can go down with it. And see, it tells you when it's like minimum or maximum, which is really awesome. So um, left and right arrows, uh, function key, Fn, and then left and right. It changes the speed up and down, changes the brightness. So there are other things too. For example, one good thing that it has is... Um, Fn plus page down is the N key rollover, which means, uh, if you know what it is, then you know, but uh, if you don't, then it means that you can hold down as many keys as you want, and it doesn't do that beep, beep in the window, so it detects all the keys you press, and function plus uh, page up is the um, six key uh, no conflict, so you can hold down six keys and it doesn't have conflict. Personally, I don't know why you even will choose. I mean, why would you want the keys to conflict? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. So I think it should be just on the N key rollover and that's it. But it's good to have a choice. So <laughs> anyway, uh, light effects, you press uh, Fn plus uh, 1 to 9 or 1 to 0 actually. It shows you the icons in here like you saw before. So uh, let's go through them. Let's play with them. See, that's that's the wave things. It's really nice. I like that. It's, it's better than my other uh, mechanical keyboard was. So that's a single color. No, it's not a single color. That's that's just um, the trial of light. That's what it's called. So number three, that's called hurricane. Make sure it's maximum. It's pretty cool. So um, that was number two, yes. No, that was number three. So number four, uh, That's that's this thing. That's pretty cool. So if you put uh, more speed, so if you press something, that's that's pretty good. Personally, I would prefer a little bit slower, see? If you press something, then it does that. That's that's quite cool. So uh, again, I forgot, I think it was five. No, it wasn't. Uh, it was uh, number four. Number five is uh, swift action. Uh, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do. Oh, it, it does move. Something changes, see? Yep, it's like line by line, so... Uh, that was number five, yes. Number six. That's that's like that. It just fades away, I think. It fades faster or slower. That's, that's pretty cool, too. So, let's see. Uh, number six, number seven. Fast and... What? I, I can't read it because the 
program doesn't respond to the TPI settings. I will I will show you in a second, but first I'll go through them. That was seven, yes. Number eight. That is called uh, winding paths. That's that's just whoa, that's fast, that's windy. <laughs> was number seven, yes? No, freaking it. eight, that's what it was. Uh, that's that's cool. That's like matrix code. Come on, that is like matrix code. If you look, it's actually falling from the top. See, it goes like this. Let's put really fast. I don't know if you can tell, but it clearly, it, if you sit in front of the keyboard, it's it's really nice. It's like the matrix code thing. See, <laughs> that's that's pretty hilarious. I I like that. That's called digi digital times. And this is coastal, which is fully programmable. For example, let's make n there as some other color let's make it da, 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 see, green uh, I don't want it green I want it yellow I said yellow okay I have to do that see then let's make this enter let's make this one purple or pinkish purple there we go see that's that's how it works so um, <clears throat> it's it's cool that's like fully customizable you can customize every single color and with one click you can have a different background color for example red so you have individual keys plus uh, this so you can you can literally change every key to different color if you want or wait maybe you can't let let me try um, yes you can it has the color palette so I will show you in a second but but that's the final lighting effect called um, called the coastal I don't know why coastal I will just put it um, custom so now it's time to show you the software I think that this one is still the best the matrix code that's that's just badass I wish you could change the colors make it like completely green or something but well anyway time to show you the software so one thing I wanted to explain about this thing I was trying to take the keys out, but I don't think it's uh, meant for the keys only. However, before I go on, I still need a way to pull the keys out, which means this is no good and there is no other tool. So if I want to replace this button in here, then how you can I get to it? I have to take the enter off, like uh, pull it up from this end and don't like twist it like, you know, from this corner so the key doesn't go like this because otherwise you break it. So you have to put pressure from this side so you push it like, so it's like, you know, not going like this, but it's straight. And then you, see, I can't even do it like this. But I'm just saying, well, I'm under an odd angle, but this is, this is how you pull it. You, you can't do it, but it's very difficult. So, but these keys, they are easy. You just pull it off like this. Uh, you can't do it with this one. But like I said, the problem is that this doesn't go between those. But this thing is to pull out the mechanical switches, so let me try. You put it, this finger in here, that's the pull finger, and with these, you apply the pressure. So, I have to do it like this, my hand is a little bit in the way, but I'll try. So, put it like that, and pull it out. And that's how you do it, that's that's how you remove these, uh, whoops, these switches. See? And also another thing I wanted to mention is that one of the switches was actually broken on the keyboard already which was the escape button uh, I didn't even try it until I realized that it's broken it just didn't work on some reason I replaced it with one of the replacement switches and it started working perfectly so but it does have a uh, free now for me free uh, replacement switches so that's that's how you replace them you just pull them straight out and that's it so hope that explains about this thing or thing. Alright then, this is how the software looks like. It looks awfully like, uh, exactly like uh, the one for this one by one uh, keypad. That's the one you saw on the side. See, it looks identical. And the problem in here is that it doesn't respond to the TPI settings. So, um, it really off this keyboard. So, um, push the other one out of the screen. Right. So, you have modes M1, M2, M3. These are your different mode things. See? You can play around with your lights and stuff. See, that's that's where I got the names from. Digital times, that's the matrix code thing I showed you. You can change it manually, but like I showed you, that's the FN plus uh, left and right arrow. You can uh, adjust that. Just look at that. I'm pressing it on the keyboard right now. Uh, there we go. You have to let it go, then it, then it changes, see? So it like steps like that, see? 
don't know if you can do it in here no you can't it's just just uh, one two three four five different levels see and same with the brightness so that's how you select these things uh, all of these are like uh, customizable some of them see you can change the direction of things in here and some of them not all of them and the coastal that's the custom one that's what I was messing around with see that's the background color if I select this see all of these become yellow and black one is turn it off and the way I was changing the individual colors is this one you pick a color first let's say yellow and then you click on edit icon and you press on the key you want to light up so now my enter key is yellow also this software has a bug in here see the enter key and this key in here see this this one that one is um well you saw the keyboard layout just look at it again the enter key is like goes up in here this key doesn't exist on the keyboard this key instead is in here so i hope you understand what i mean because you saw the keyboard layout and it's different but other than that everything else is same and that's how you customize so if you want some button green you want spacebar green and now the spacebar is green it shows you the colors in here too see the outlines so that's how you use this thing that's how you customize your colors and well we have macro editor in here this this is the basic kind of thing you know it's the same kind of thing you can uh, first click plus icon you add the macro you can record the macro you can uh, Wait, where the heck was the single keys and stuff? I can't find it. Yeah, do you see? Record. See, blah, 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 And that's how it works. So, delete this macro. I don't want it. Uh, what? Okay, yeah, clear. Go go away. I don't want this macro. Okay, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, cancel. And if you turn this light off, then you can change the individual keys. That's, that's how you program the keys. So, you have to turn the light off. It says, I know it says Leich, Leich, like some German word, but the reason for that, this program doesn't respond to the DPI settings. I have 4K desktop and I'm recording in just a small square, so I can just easily move it completely off the screen. And that's because I have 4K desktop and it doesn't respond to the DPI settings. Please fix! Right, <laughs> you turn the light off and then you press on any key you want to remap and you can remap it to anything you want. That's That's how easy it is. It's the same thing with this thing, see? This thing works the same way. I have actually mapped a lot of keys, see? I have like shadow play and all that on it. Uh, but but in here I don't really see any reason why you want to uh, remap your keys. Maybe like remap the F, F keys something, something you don't use, I don't know. Or maybe, I don't know, if you turn the num lock off, then maybe like map these keys, I don't know. But it's, it's good to have it, you can program the keys to do whatever you want but personally I'm using one of these keyboards as the primary one and then this one on the side is for hot keys all of these are hot keys for me so that's that's how I'm using it but um, but well hope this helps to you know do whatever you want to do with it and to tell you about the feel of the keyboard it's really quiet I didn't expect it to be that quiet and it's it's quite I don't know, it's different from the clicky keys, but well, anyone who's used the mechanical keyboard knows how they feel, so. But well, I will see ya next time.